My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jump has served breakfast. This is episode number 19 of the 120 Days to Jump Economics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at the math function, changes in quantity demanded, and changes in demand. In the previous episode, we were able to introduce demand, the law of demand, and we are also able to look at the normal demand curve and the abnormal demand curve. The law of demand states that all things being equal, the higher the price of a commodity, the lower the quantity demanded, and the lower the price of a commodity, the higher the quantity demanded. All things being equal. However, in the case of luxury goods, counterfeit goods, the demand increases as price increases. Now, the major factors that affect demand are price, consumer's income, consumer's taste or preference, population, the price of clothes substitutes, weather condition, and complements. Demand function shows the relationship between quantity demanded and price. In this case, it is a linear demand function because it shows a direct relationship between the quantity demand and price. And the demand function states that the quantity demanded is a function of price, which means the quantity that you demand, the quantity of commodity you order depends on the price. If today you hear that Jumia is doing discounts. So get 60% off any food you get, any bag you get, whatever. You see so many persons we rush it. That is because quantity demanded is a function of price. For jam under demand function, you'll be given something like this. Let's say quantity demanded is equals anything 10 minus let's say 0.5 p. And you'll be told what is the quantity demanded when price is equals let's say two naira. What you simply do is to say that since quantity demanded is a function of price and price is equals two naira, it means p, which is price, is two. So from here, quantity demanded is equals ten minus zero point five. Anywhere you see p put 2 because p is now 2 it is times 2 now you can punch your calculator and get an answer however if you want to do this you can convert the fraction to decimal anytime you see something like this 0 0.5 you ask yourself how many times do i need to move this point to get to the end of the numbers you are moving just once if you are moving once divide by 10 so you write 5 over 10. So 0 0.5 is the same thing as 5 over 10. Now, if you have 0 0.05, you move once, you move second time to get to the end of the numbers. So since you are moving two times, it is divided by 100. So this is 0 0.05 over 100. You write the numbers after the decimal point, divided by how many times you move. How about you have 2.364? And you want to convert to fraction you simply say you move once you move two times you move three times that is one thousand so you have two three six four over one thousand in this case you can say zero five over ten in this case you can say zero zero five over ten the, all the numbers in front so zero doesn't matter zero zero doesn't matter so that leaves you with that now, this is 
10 minus 5 over 10 times 2. In bond mass, you deal with multiplication parts before subtraction. Don't say 0, 10 minus 5 over 10 times 2. No, you get the wrong answer. This will simply give you 10 minus 5 times 2. That is 10. So 10 divided by 10. This is 10 minus 1. That is 9. So quantity demanded is equals 9. Depending on how the questions come. Now, change in quantity demanded is a phenomenon caused by change in price only. While other factors are held constants. Now look at it. We have factors affecting demand. These are the factors. So, in changing demand, we look at what happens to demand if price alone is affected. Why every other thing here, we don't touch them. Only price. Which means, what is the effect of change in price? That is, changes in quantity demanded. We ignore consumer's income, consumer's taste, population and the rest. We don't care. We, not, we need to know what is caused by change in price and it is called movement along a given demand curve it's caused by other factors except price which means what are the effects of consumers income consumer states population price weather condition and complements on the demand if we don't talk about price that is the focus of changes in demand now changes in demand is Referred to as shift in demand. It is measured by a shift in the demand curve. Why changes in quantity demanded is measured by a movement in demand curve. So changes in quantity, movement, changes in demand, shift. Changes in quantity demanded caused by changes in price. Changes in demand is caused by other factors except price. Now, for changes in demand, Increase in demand will lead to outward or rightward shift in demand. Now, what we lead to, what we cause increase in demand when we are dealing with changes in demand? Since price is not a factor in changes in demand, it means that changes in demand will increase when consumer's income increases, consumer's taste increases or improves, there is boost in population, price of clothes substitutes, favorable weather condition, and a favorable price of complementary goods that will lead to an increase in change in demand. A decrease in demand will lead to inward or backward shift in demand curve. Before we get there, what do you think will lead to decrease in demand? It will simply be consumer's income reduction. Consumer is not any much again. Consumer stays changes no longer interested. Reduction in population. Uh, increase in price of substitute goods, unfavorable weather condition, and increase in price of clothes substitutes. All these will lead to decrease in changes in demand. But changes in quantity demanded only has to do with price, which means increase in price will lead to upward movements. That is decrease in quantity demanded. As price increases, quantity demand drops, and decrease in price will lead to downward movements. If I give you something like this, if I give you something like this, like this, this is price and this is quantity demanded. This is price and this is quantity demanded. If here is initial price P1 and here is final price P2, which can be values like 10, like 15, 10 naira to 15 naira. It means there is an increase in price, right? Yes. So, increase in price means from here to here, we go up. When price is increased, what happens to the quantity demanded? The quantity demanded will drop. It simply means that if 50 quantity was demanded. Now, less than 50, let's say 30, will now be demanded. So, this is the first quantity demanded. This is the second quantity demanded. Therefore, here will be 
Q1, here will be Q2 because quantity has dropped. So, in that case, if you look at something like this, when price was P1, quantity was 50. As price goes to P2, quantity has dropped to 30. So, we now have a slope like this. And what is happening? As price keeps increasing, quantity keeps dropping. So, which means it will be moving this way. As price is increasing, quantity starts shifting backward, shifting backward. So, this will be going down, up, and up. So, that is it. As price increases. So, let's look at it. Increase in price will lead to upward movements and decrease in demand. So, as price is increasing, what is upward movement? You see that it is moving upward towards the left. Let's see the other case where price will decrease and it will lead to downward movements. Look at this. If price increases, if price decreases, quantity demanded will increase. So, let's have something like this. Price decreasing means, let's say here was 10 Naira, the price goes down to, no, here was 15 Naira, the price goes down to 10 Naira. It simply means that this is the first price P1, this is the second price P2. What is happening? Here is increasing, it's decreasing rather. P1, P2, there's a drop in price. And as price drops, what happens to quantity? Quantity will increase. It means that if the quantity demanded earlier was 30 uh, quantities, as price has dropped, quantity will go to le above 30, let's say 50. So since this is the first quantity, let's call this Q1. And since this is the second quantity, let's call this Q2. So at P1, quantity demanded was 30. At P2, quantity demanded became 50. Now look at what is happening here. Yeah. It is going down. So if price goes down again, quantity will keep increasing. So this will be moving down like this, going down like this. So decrease in price will lead to downward movements. As price is decreasing, you see downward movement. As price is increasing, you will see upward movement. So this is a graph for increase in price for changes in quantity demanded. This is for decrease in price for changes in quantity demanded. For most of these books, they will choose to package it to do something like this like this then like this then for here like this for here like this so that is graph for you it means the same thing ladies and gentlemen let's see we've seen the, uh, that changes in demand has to do with movement as you are seeing since this one has to do with shift in demand let us see how the curve will be like now ladies and gentlemen Take note of this, there is a big difference between change in demand and change in quantity demanded. And there is a big difference between increase in demand and increase in quantity demanded. There is a big difference between decrease in demand and decrease in quantity demanded. Other changes in demand, you can have increase in demand or decrease in demand. Under changes in quantity demanded, you can have increase in quantity demanded or decrease in quantity demanded. So when it comes to demand and you hear changes, so long you don't hear quantity, know that we are dealing with changes in demand. Now look at this. Here, you see price. This is price. This is quantity. You expect price to change in a normal demand curve. But in this case, price is not changing. Price is constant. Anytime you see a graph and you see a line going straight like this, it represents a constant. 
if it's not going like this or like this or change it it's going straight that means it is constant and constant means it is not changing at all despite the fact that the price is not changing you see that quantity is still changing for example price remains constant but you see the quantity here the first quantity let's call here 10 10 units it goes to something bigger than 10 let's say 30 units what has happened quantity has increased from one to two and the first demand is here as quantity is one demand has shifted forward d2 d2 so this is the first demand second demand price remains constant demand moved from here to here you see so that is rightward or outward shift rightward shift shows increase in demand and for changes in quantity demand rate, we deal with movement sloping but in change in demand that is movement demand shifts from here to here as quantity increases now a decrease in demand is when price remains the same but demand is still changing look at this quantity demanded has dropped here it was let's say 10 here something lesser than 10 here let's say 30 here something lesser than 30 let's say 10 so drop in quantity demanded this has made the demand curve to shift from here when q is one d and d1 was here as quantity dropped you see the demand comes here d2 d1 so take note of this for decrease in demand there is leftward or inward shift anytime you see arrow going this way going this way it is shifting leftward or inward that is decrease in demand if it's going this way that is rightward increase in demand and this decrease and increase in demand are not affected by price they are affected by other conditions like uh, the consumer's salary population weather condition change in state price of substitute goods ladies and gentlemen i've done my very very best to make you understand demand function changes in demand and changes in quantity demanded if you understand i'll be very very happy but if you don't understand please go over it and feel free to ask me questions reach out to me and some persons do complain that some of the videos they can't see the board clearly if you are streaming on youtube based on your network youtube will show you a low quality video it is your duty to increase the quality to your taste this video is up to 1080p and finally brethren install the flash learner jam app get it on flashlearner.com if you are watching on youtube use the youtube description to install it or search flash learner jam app on your play store you see the application install activate and start practicing offline and you can also choose topics to play with using the apps and the questions and assignments I shall be giving you are from the application as well. See you in the next episode.